Hey what's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So in today's video we're gonna be actually doing the 3 month review of the OnePlus Nord N200 5G. During this video I'm gonna be referring to it as the N200 5G. So the point of this video is to literally tell you guys what I learned about this phone in the past 3 months. And we're gonna first start and talk about the design so first of all the design of this phone is pretty much an elegant design that combines a budget aspect and a premium aspect and also makes it is such a good looking phone to me so looks are a subjective topic and also when you look at it the fingerprint sensor is actually located on the right hand side which is easy access and it works well and the buttons themselves are fairly tactile they're really good you also have the volume up and down and also when you look at the bottom you have your USB type C which does support warp charge so great to see it on a budget smartphone and also you do retain the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is crazy because pretty much most budget phones have it and the flagships don't so the back of the phone also houses a triple camera setup and I did a full in-depth camera analysis I'll leave it first link in the description below so you can check it out after this video but i'll give you the gist of it so first the specs of the cameras are the following so you have a main sensor of a 13 megapixels and you also have two other sensor one of them acts as a macro sensor which is at 2 megapixels and the other one acts as a depth sensor also at 2 megapixels and it, this phone does shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second and does use electronic image stabilization and you also have a front-facing camera at 16 megapixels and also has capability of recording 1080p video at 30 frames per second and also this phone, the camera does protrude quite a bit especially for a 13 megapixel sensor so keep that in mind when you put it on a flat surface it's gonna rock back and forth there's just no way around it now the picture quality here's really the summary of it they're they're kind of washed they're bland like there's not really big colors so the two biggest issues when it comes to the camera is that washed colors and just a very poor dynamic range however there is some sort of hack to fix that issue but that's just so that just requires an extra work from your end as a consumer basically what you can do is just take a picture um do some post editing and add your own colors right add a little bit of saturation change the colors quite a bit you have and you have a much improved picture but then again to be honest the average consumer does not really want to do all that and they don't have the time to do all that they're just really trying to just take a picture move on with their life right and video as far as the video quality itself it is okay at best again just the dynamic range is just not really that good when it comes to the video quality too and thing is is that also in video it does tend to just oversaturate the whole quality of the video in a way i guess it's trying to make it look better but it's not doing a good job now the other big feature that this phone has is within the display so the screen on here is a definitely high quality IPS panel so it's a 2400 by 1080p and it is 6.49 inches and like I said very high quality really good screen this phone does support a 90 hertz display and the fact that you see that in a budget smartphone just mind boggles me right and this is one of the features that they did take from a flagship device so that's a thumbs up and the display definitely um is one of its biggest advantages after the design so let's talk a little bit about the specs so the specs are the following first of all this is a 5g supported phone so it does support 5g and as far as the cpu and gpu it does use the snapdragon 480 5g chip and it is a octa core and it is combined with the adreno 619 for gpu you have standard 64 gigabytes of storage as well as four gigabytes of ram i did a geekbench um on it and you basically have a single core of 508 and a multi-core of 1589 and what that really translates to is some pretty good performance right when you run a heavy demanding task like if you play games a lot on your phone and you want to use the you want to take advantage of that gpu then it's going to do a decent job right i mean it's not going to shock you with its frame rate or um it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world but again it's not really meant to be however it's definitely something that is a plus on this phone right very good when it comes to gaming and very good when it comes to pretty much most tasks 
and battery life is also fantastic on this phone so this oneplus um n200 5g does have a huge 5000 milliamp hour battery which is let me tell you fantastic right it does what it's supposed to it's gonna last you more than a day easy right unless you use your phone like crazy like you're a crazy user then that's a different story don't game on it all day and expect it to stay all day then that's really your fault um but yeah and you still have the warp charge if you want to top it off quickly so what do we really take from all of this well two things right well no not two things more than two things but first is that this phone it has some flagship killer material so the design is one of them it's definitely a well-built phone and the second is that the specs are good enough to get you through most tasks um, you can game on it, you can do your daily callings, checking your social media, texting, and all that good stuff. However, I have to say it, the camera is its biggest letdown. At the end of the day, this is a $250 smartphone, and you can get it cheaper through carriers, and I would definitely recommend it. Unless the camera is not a deal breaker, this is such an amazing device to have if you're in the market for a sub $250 phone. And so with that being said, I mean, I just want to end it here. First of all, thank you all so much for watching my videos. I really, really greatly appreciate it. More great content coming soon. I'm trying to roll out videos every single day for you guys, especially this week. So stay tuned for that. Really excited. And yeah, I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.